Engraving acrylics with a laser creates amazing end products. Today on Chris's Corner, we're going to talk about engraving mirror acrylics. Hey, let's walk through a project of engraving mirror acrylic. The acrylic I'm using in this video is 1 16th inch acrylic. I'm going to use it with my Glowforge Basic to engrave and cut. Since Glowforge doesn't have 1 16th inch acrylic on its dashboard, I will have to put in the manual material settings on my own. Since this is 16th inch mirror acrylic, I'm going to put in 0 0.06 as the thickness of my material. And then I'm going to put in the specialized manual settings, which will be 200 speed, full power for our cut settings, and for our engraved settings will be 1000 speed, 50% power. Now I'm going to manually put in the 0.06 focus just to be on the safe side. And then I'm going to switch it so that it engraves first and cuts second. It will cut clean and not adhere back together because of the longer engrave. Let's start off with the basics about acrylics. There are two main types of acrylic, cast acrylic and extruded acrylic. Both these acrylics are laser safe, so it's fine to use either one with your laser. Today we're going to focus on extruded acrylic because most mirror acrylic and a lot of specialty acrylics are extruded acrylics. Extruded acrylic is made by the manufacturer adding acrylic pellets to an extruder which melts it down and then presses it through a die at high pressure to make a sheet. It engraves clearer than cast acrylic. It is also much softer, so doesn't need to be cut or engraved at as low a speed as cast acrylic. In fact, extruded acrylic should be cut at the fastest speed possible, and then taken right out of the laser and taken apart. So when you're engraving extruded acrylic, engrave it first and cut second. The big reason for that is just what we were talking about, that if you cut it and left it during the engrave, it'll most likely adhere back together in some places. When engraving acrylic, you can remove the masking on the engraving side and put a thin layer of liquid dish soap on the acrylic before engraving. You can remove the masking from the back side too if you'd like, then cover both sides of the acrylic with a thin layer of dish soap. This will keep the acrylic clean and reduce any laser flashback. After you are done engraving, simply rinse the piece off with water and dry. Some acrylic engraves will look nicer if you defocus the laser lens first. To do this, you can manually set the focus out of focus. For example, when I engrave 1 8 inch acrylic, I usually set the focus at 0.3 inches instead of 0.12 inches. This gives it an even and smoother engrave. You can engrave and score acrylic on either the back or the front of the acrylic. If it is translucent, clear, or mirror acrylic, then engraving and scoring from the back by turning the acrylic over, reversing the image on the dashboard, engraving it will make it look a lot more polished and clean. It'll give it a nice dimensional polished finish look. Here are some examples of engraving. These little avocados were engraved differently. The one on the left was engraved from the front. It has a frosted texture appearance. The one on the right was engraved from the back. It has a cleaner, sharper appearance. You can also engrave on the front in a reverse engrave. This is when you engrave everything except the part you would usually engrave. So in this picture with reverse engrave, I engraved everything except the dragonflies. So the dragonflies stand out and they shine with the mirror while the rest of the acrylic has a frosted look. Now let's finish up the project that we started using fast motion. You can find the best settings for your laser by engraving small circles of squares on pieces of scrap acrylic to see what looks the best.
for watching today. Like and subscribe so that you can see our next video when it comes out.